All right, in today's video, we are gonna be fixing this Vizio M65-D0. So we've got the TV again face down now up on our work table. These are aftermarket stands that uh, were put in. So we're gonna be removing these screws because again, they're down inside the back of the TV holding it to the actual metal that's inside. If you don't have these aftermarket stands, then most likely you'll have to get these little original stands. They'll be sticking out of here and then obviously on the other end. And those are just a couple of uh, Phillips head screws too that you pull out and then the stand will actually come out this way. And again, you need to remove those so that they're not embedded into the metal on the TV because we are gonna be taking this entire back piece out of the TV to access the old board. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and start attacking these little Phillips head. We're gonna get those uh, all removed and we'll be back with you here shortly. All right, so we have the stands removed. The next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be removing all of these little screws that go along the outside edge of the TV. Now one handy trick is as you're going along to place the screws in a similar pattern kind of up here above where you're working. And this just helps you keep track of all your screws and help you remember the specific order that those screws went in. Okay, so we've been working our way around the TV and uh, don't forget over kind of the main input board right here, You've got one, two, three screws there. And then over here by the, uh, the power uh, cord, you've got another one that's down in there. Okay, so we have all of our screws out and you can see we've laid them out in a nice little pattern here to help us remember where they go back in. And now it's time to actually remove this large plastic piece. Now it's gonna be separated from your front screen right here. This is where you need to be careful. Uh, I'm gonna have my brother actually demonstrate how to separate this. And again, what we don't wanna do is go ripping this thing off because there are wires that connect this back piece to the boards inside. So again, all we're looking to do is get in here and separate this back piece from the main front area. Okay, so this is on the other side here. What he's gonna do is use the, uh, the stand hole to get a little bit of leverage. And as you pull up, this actually will lift up pretty easily the first part. Now again, you can use that seam to slowly work your way around the TV popping it off of the clips that hold it into that front metal piece. So again, it can get a little tight, just be very careful, be very cautious. If you wanna get a screwdriver in there and use that to pry a little bit, you just wanna be very careful during this stage not to go ripping things. Okay, so we've got all of our screws out of the back of our TV. We've loosened it around the edges here and popped off the shell. Now again, before you go yanking this up, you need to realize there's one more wire that's connected to the main board actually that comes down from here. Now this is the power button cable and it comes down from your power buttons that uh, you use to turn on the TV volume and channel uh, switching and that goes right down into the main board. So we need to disconnect this obviously so we can get the back up and out and that just actually with a, just a little bit of pressure you can kind of pull it right up and out. And that will alleviate the entire top half of the TV. You can remove that, put it off to the side. And that gives us access now to our main board that we're gonna be swapping out. Again, the TV is in the down position. So this, uh, with it laying down and the top on that end, the board is gonna be on the right-hand side of your TV. Now, here is our new board. Again, we ordered this on eBay. Ended up costing us about $60, $65. We got a really great deal on this used one. Normally these run between $100 and $125, so that was a really great option for us to try today. As you can see, this is gonna swap right out. We are gonna need to pull these guards uh, off so they can be used on the new one. We're gonna need to pull all of these wires off uh, that kind of connect to the other boards and the speakers and things like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and do that now and we can start the swap. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna disconnect are these ribbons. And there's those little black tabs that you can see that are down there. Basically, you just need to flick those open. It's a pretty easy process. And then the ribbons are actually just gonna pull right out. Slide them out there, and that's it. And then a few uh, more connecting uh, wires here that we'll go after. 
Again, most of these are not uh, clipped in with just a little bit of pulling. You can get them out. Again, don't yank because these wires are delicate. And you don't want to have to replace them. Basically, we had the power button uh, cable. We've got uh, one cable right here, another one right here, the two ribbons, and then we've got another black and white uh, cable down there. That one pops off pretty easy. Let's go up to the top here. Uh, these are another uh, connecting board cables. That's another one that's just gonna, with two hands, again, gently uh, pull up. And then one more cable over here, uh, same thing, just kind of gently pull up. And that is about as far as our cable connections. So now we're gonna get a Phillips head screwdriver out and we're gonna actually remove these guards here for our main inputs, our USB and HDMI ports. There is a small uh, little screw that's gonna be right in front of this guard down here where the audio inputs are. Okay, so next we're gonna go after the two screws that are on the sides of the bottom guard there. It's gonna be one over here to the right. And then over here on the left-hand side, we're gonna have another screw that comes up pretty easily as well. So we'll pull that. Now we're gonna come over here, same thing on the guard on this side. There's a screw right in the middle that needs to be removed. And then we've got another screw on this side. Okay, once you have those, we can actually remove these guards. They just kind of slide right out. Again, make sure you keep those screws and these kind of in a handy position so you don't lose that. The bottom one also is just gonna slide right out and off. And that's gonna allow us now to remove the main board screws so this can actually pull right up. So we've got one, two over there, three, and uh, looks like four right there. So we're gonna go after those four screws now. Okay, now this main board is actually held on still by a couple of sticky kind of foam pieces that are on the bottom of this. You are going to need a little bit of pressure to wiggle it and then yank it up. So we've already done that. Again, we didn't want to break the board on, on camera, but it just wiggles up, pulls, and as you can see, these foam pieces are what was stuck uh, pretty securely onto that backboard. So again, don't use massive strength. You just need to kind of wiggle and gently pull that loose. Now, if the new board that you purchased does not come with these foam pieces, you will need to remove these and stick them on the back of the new board that you purchased. You can actually see that there are some markings indicating where these foam pieces uh, lie on the board. Okay, so we've got our new board now down in place. What we've done is we've just set it back down, lined it up with the screw holes uh, all the way around. Again, this one is going to be uh, elevated for those guards. So this is our new board now. We placed it uh, back on, and we're actually just now going to reverse the steps, uh, starting with the screws that connect this directly to the back panel of the TV. Okay, so once we have the guards back in place, we're going to be screwing in those two middle screws first just to kind of keep it uh, steady onto the board. And again, these just slide right back in, kind of underneath where they were. These two holes are shared with these guards for a single screw that goes in there, so they just overlay onto each other. Okay, so now that we have our board locked back into place, it's time to connect all the wires and ribbons back up. So again, we're just going to go around and make sure everything is snug and back in place. Again, these actually just uh, clip in fairly easy. Again, don't use tons of pressure. So a little bit should get that nice little click that you're looking for to get them snapped in. When you get to these ribbons, again, all you're going to do is feed it back through this little black tab uh, area underneath uh, the white plastic piece. So if you can see the little black line there, that is going to line up perfectly with where it needs to stop. And then you just flip the little black tab down. So same one with this guy over here. Once you have the ribbons in place, come back up here to the top and make sure you get these two uh, connecting board wires as well. 
The last thing you'll need to do, obviously, is connect those power buttons that are on the back of the big plastic backing of the TV. So we're gonna put that back down, connect that little cable, and then it's time for us to do a little testing to make sure this works.